some comments to open with. Jack? Thank you for showing up today. Um, as you all know, our search for our next manager of the Seattle Mariners uh, took place a few weeks ago. And uh, through a relative, relatively extensive search, uh, we uh, had looked at about 35 possible candidates. And during that search, we uh, narrowed the list to seven. We brought seven gentlemen in that were interviewed for this position. And some of the things that, uh, that I stated that I was looking for was someone of a fresh face, looking for someone that has experience that didn't necessarily have to be as a major league manager. Uh, it could have come in as a minor league manager, someone that had extensive background in the minor leagues, someone that I thought had uh, qualities as a leader, someone that I thought could be uh, a face that this franchise could be proud of and follow. The answers are impeccable. I'm excited to introduce to you Don Wakamatsu. sitting over there she's gonna to have to leave here but uh, my wife Laura has been my uh, my rock and I've been through uh, the minor leagues for a long time and and uh, we've sacrificed and did a lot of things but uh, she's done most of that and been again my savior raising our kids and, and I love her very much and, and I'm glad she's able to come up and spend a little bit of time with us uh, today so uh, my wife Laura Uh, first off, uh, going through the interview process for me was, was an, uh, an exciting period and an extensive one. And I've had a couple different reporters call me during the time and say, uh, well, are you tired? Are you, what's your feelings? And, and a couple times I said, well, it's a lot of anxiety. Well, I, I had a couple of days to reflect. And number one, I think it's because my desire for this job is where all, a lot of that stuff came, for, came from. But I, I welcome the challenge here to, uh, to bring a world champion to uh, Seattle and to the fans of the Seattle Mariners. And that's, number one, is, is, is something that uh, is our goal as an organization to come together and, as, as Jack said, to acquire some talent and, and put a product on the field that uh, everybody would be proud of. You're the first Asian American to manage um, Major League Baseball <coughs> franchise team. Um, Yes, number one. Uh, obviously, uh, as you get closer and closer to the process, and I went through an interview process in Texas a couple years ago where people have approached me and, and, uh, and asked me the exact same question, and, and I'm honored uh, to be uh, to have a history and to carry that on in a sense. My parents, uh, my grandparents um, have a long history here up in the Northwest that uh, that I'm very proud of and I'm proud to to represent some of the things that they've went through in their lifetime. So yes, I think if, if, if I can set uh, somewhat of a, uh, a stepping stone for, for future Japanese Americans and, and just the equality in baseball, uh, I, I'm glad that, to, to wear that, uh, or bring that torch. Uh, my whole thing is to be able to create an environment where there's trust. Uh, somebody asked me earlier whether I was going to what was my first step, uh, other than talking to Jack about the club and our plans, was going to be to touch out to as many players as possible. And in that, trying to find uh, some, some common ground where we could go into spring training and roll. Wakamatsu is a young find in the Japanese and a little talent. Familiarity with this, this uh, division, familiarity, familiarity with this area of the country, which he was very fond of. But this is a good baseball guy. This is a, a, a soup to nuts kind of baseball guy. He's going to do a lot of things with all the players who work for him and all of us that we work with him.